Hello! In last week's video I improvised a guitar solo over rhythm changes and the backing track that I used for this video was actually a song in iReal Pro that I exported and then imported into Logic Pro. In this video I thought I would explain the process that I used to create the backing track as it could be helpful to any other iReal Pro users out there. I'll leave a link to last week's video in the description to this video so you can check out the results. So the first thing I'm going to do is set how many times I would like the song to repeat. Easy to do this now, but you can quite easily do this later on in Logic Pro as MIDI files are very easy to edit. I often play with the piano turned off as you will hear in last week's video. So the piano volume can be turned down here. It doesn't really matter where you have the volume set as when you save the file, everything will get exported anyway. I will be importing the MIDI file into Logic Pro, although a similar process can be used with any other DAW. So if I click the share button at the top right of the screen, and then I'm going to click Share Audio. On the next box, you need to make sure that the format is set as a MIDI file and click Save. Heading over to Logic Pro, and I have a default project open just with one audio track created. This audio track is going to be used for recording my guitar solo later. I'm now going to click and drag the MIDI file previously saved into the area below my existing audio track in the Tracks area of Logic. I'm now asked if I would like to import the tempo. As I don't have any tracks created already, not a problem. So I can import the tempo, saves me doing it later. So as you can see, Logic has created tracks from the imported MIDI file and it has assigned instruments to each track. Now, if I play the file, it's gonna sound pretty crazy. So I definitely need to change the instruments on these tracks. The first thing I'm going to do is delete this track here because I do not need it at all. Next, I'm going to change the sound of the click track. So I will select this specific track and then move to the top left of the screen and click this button here, which will open the panel at the side, give me the option to change the instruments. So I'm going to select the drums and just use this drum kit here. I'm now going to double click on the MIDI area of the click track from which I can actually drag the MIDI notes and change the sounds. You can see that the sounds aren't actually the same anyway. The first MIDI note is a different sound to all the others. So I'm going to drag that and all the other three to a sound that I would like for my click. Once I'm happy with the sound, I can just close the window. And if I hit E on my keyboard, that just toggles the editor at the bottom. So just a quick shortcut there. I'm now going to delete the piano track as all I want is bass and drums. You might choose to just mute the piano track if you want because you might change your mind later. The drums have actually been assigned to a piano sound so this definitely needs to be changed. Rather than using Logic's inbuilt drum sounds, I'm actually going to use a third party plugin. So for this, I'm going to use Superior Drummer. So if I click on this button here and then select Superior Drummer, I then have Superior Drummer as my sound. I'm going to select a different kit to give a more jazz sounding kit in Superior Drummer. It's also a good idea just to rename the track so everything is a bit more logical. So once you have your backing track you can then just enable the audio track and record a solo. Now you have a backing track with a solo over the top and you can mix and edit the same as you would in any other project in Logic Pro. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future guitar related videos. Bye for now.